Welcome to another episode of Electric Taco. Today, I'm taking it to the screen and picking up my boy, Wilmer Valderrama. Let's get our Electric Taco Tuesday on. What's Wilmer? up, brother? Uh, what's up, brother? Where were you before Los Angeles? What brought you to, like... Well, I was born in Miami, but I was... When I was three or so, my parents moved back to Venezuela. I didn't know that. I didn't know you were born in Miami. You didn't know that? No, no. I did not know you were born in yeah, Miami. Yeah, dude. I mean, I guess it's pretty obvious. <laughs> it's pretty obvious that English is my second language, but... No, but I'm, um... I'm stoked because, um... Once we came back to the United States, you, you know, you were allowed to you have permission to dream bigger. You have permission to really think of yourself. So I literally, the next day I went to school, uh, which we walked to school because we didn't uh -huh. have a car, obviously. And that entire walk there, it was like it was building in my head. It was building in my head. And once I got in there, I sat in front of the class. I was the first one to raise a hand at every question. I asked every question. I stayed extra long in school. And within like six to eight months, I was really speaking English. Wow. You know, and I was really getting it done, man. And uh, and I think that was one of the biggest things that happened to me was, was at that moment I said, okay, for the sake of my family, for our well-being, I have to figure this out. I was singing, dancing, and acting since I was six years old, but I only did it for fun because there was nothing to do in our little town back yeah. in Venezuela. So coming full circle to this, I felt like returning to theater was really going to help me, you know, um, improve my speaking kill, skills. It was going to improve my my ability to speak to others and communicate yeah. and, and it was going to force me to read it was going to force me to speak out loud and really speak my mind and, and that's what it did man theater really kind of broke the shell I learned how to speak English like the world opened up you're like because, where am I? Uh, yes exactly <laughs> right yeah, exactly right <laughs> totally heard that song in that was head. a cartoon that was a cartoon for many years yes but I feel like the times we get to talk I don't get to ask some of the questions I've always wanted to ask so now I get to the get a little bit yes, deeper and, and ask Eric, some the other questions yes the answer is yes. yes I've always thought of you as someone that's so special someone <laughs> is so so different so you know? different. and uh and it's so hard to find I, I want to say so. I fell in love with you when you were Eduardo Fresco <laughs> That's when I found. That's when I was like, so many people discover. Like, and do you do do you want to speak on? Do you remember who Eduardo Fresco is? Yeah. So because that's your music side. That you have a big I, music I have side an alter ego. Yeah, alter ego. His name is Eduardo Fresco, and I'm sure right now we're gonna cut too. No, no, no we bit. don't cut out of this. You gotta. Oh, explain, really? You gotta like paint the picture. Okay. <laughs> you gotta paint it all right now. The description was that if Enrique Iglesias and Ricky Martin had a baby, that that would have been me, Eduardo Fresco. <laughs> So, uh, so we, we, we developed a script. It was awesome. Then we developed uh, the, the look, and we partnered up with 20th Century Fox. And wow, we sold it to ABC. Um, and uh, the, the show, we decided, okay, okay, why don't, how do we, let's, ch let's, let's, let's figure out the tone. So we decided to fund a, a music video. And <laughs> Maria, Maria. Music was my first passion because wow. I was singing and dancing before I was acting. And, uh, oh, okay. And uh, when I came to the United States, acting really kind of took off before, you know, and, and it kind of just led me down that path and eventually yeah. I just committed to it, you know, and eventually that's what I became. My agent calls, he goes, say, Wilmer, I want you to come back tomorrow. Go, oh my God, I got a call back. This is amazing. Can I close them? And then he says, and I want you to come, you know, they want you to come back tomorrow. And the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, and then everyone's crying, everyone's freaking wow. out. It's like, oh my god, because all I gotta do is not get fired right now. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, finally, I finish. You know, I, I go and do the first episode, and they said the good news and bad news. You know, they changed the name uh, of the show. Um, so that's the bad news. I go, oh, because well, it used to be Teenage Wasteland. Okay. I said, what are they changing to? To that seven show. And congratulations, Fox just picked it up for first season. Wow. And that seventy show went on for eight years and 200 episodes, and and I changed my life. And that was history. About cars that could drive themselves. You notice I'm not, like, 
No way! That's crazy. Oh my car. Wait, before we get there, right? <laughs> You're I was such a dick because that time I won't do it. I won't do it. I'm... <laughs> Take care of yourself. As we took care of ourselves and ate, I think, 24 tacos total. But you got to, hey, speaking hey, of, the, the one line I learned from someone I, I hung with a while back, they said, treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. So today, we cheated, we, yes. didn't, we treated ourselves, yeah. we didn't cheat ourselves. So no. we went in on those. Yes. That was an amazing time. Thank you, brother. It was good to hang with you, man. Uh, my dude.